Hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, so I did it. I put the official word out on Domain Team 3 asking if people are interested in if we in supporting us if we did a Kickstarter for Domain Team 3. So um, it's out there like 10 p.m. last night. I put the tweet out there. Thanks to you know your guys actually comments, you know, um, asking about that, asking about Dementium, asking about Kickstarter in the past, stuff like that. Um, you know, and it's something we want to do, you know, so it's uh, it's nice to put it out there, see what people say. Obviously, we're going to need a ton <laughs> of uh, retweets and favorites to really push us to want to go through the uh, Kickstarter hell again. Um, right now, we've got uh, 211 retweets and 241 likes or favorites, whatever they call these days. Um, which is amazing. I mean, that's really great, you know, in, in less than 24 hours to have that. Um, but we're going to need a lot more <laughs> for us to want to uh, risk going through uh, that. Not only the risk, um, but also not only the emotional risk, but also we would uh, have to put a lot of work and time and effort into creating um, not only, of course, the video and, and, and the, the page for the Kickstarter thing, which is a lot of work, but what but it's really the work that goes behind the creation of the assets and any any game design, any any enemies, any demo, even anything that w that would come with the Kickstarter um, it takes a tremendous amount of work and time and effort and money, really, uh, that we have to put into creating that. You know, because we learned a lot from the Colt County uh, Kickstarter, um, and we'd want to you know try and address some of the issues that we had with that. Uh, in trying to make, you know, if we were to do another one and to try and make that a success, you know. So anyway, if you're interested and you support the idea of a Kickstarter for Dementium 3, uh, I'll put the link uh, down below as far from my tweet um, so you can retweet and, and favorite or like um, that, you know, and try and draw up some support for it, you know. Um, if there is, great, awesome, very exciting. And if there isn't, then well, there you go. Um, you know, I'm sure there'll be some people will be like, well, that's crazy to put the future of this uh, in the hands of, of Twitter, but I don't know. I don't think it's that crazy. I think if it, I think if, if this does show hundreds or even, dare I say, thousands of retweets and people that are interested, that will give us extreme confidence in moving forward with it. Um, and it will really show there's a big support and, and fan base and people who are just interested in seeing it. Um, and I think that's the, a great measuring stick to see um, what the natural support is you know, out there for it without me having to really push hard and, and then scrounge people's retweets together to try and show this. I think a nice natural way um, is, is to do it this way. You know, and a few news people, news sites have picked it up and, um, you know, and, and talks about it like a, a Nintendo Life and go Nintendo. Um, you know, Nintendo everything, you know, there's a lot of, um, sorry, Nintendo enthusiast. Um, um, so yeah, so, you know, and I'm sure hopefully more. Um, so I think it's a great way to actually see it because it's more natural, it's more organic. And if people really do care, then this is a great way to, to, to tell us, um, if they do. So yeah, we're taking it very seriously. Um, so definitely take this as your opportunity to be like, yes, I would support Kickstarter for a Dementium 3. Um, and those that are obviously, naturally, um, understandably, um, the next question or the only question maybe for some people is, well, what platform would it be on? And in my mind, um, without, you know, committing to every, anything at this point, but in my mind, you know, and I think I can speak for the team on this is we would want to have it on as many platforms as possible. Um, we wouldn't want to exclude 3DS, um, cause I think it'd be important um, to do that platform. Um, but we would certainly also want to do a console game, um, which, you know, whether, whether we would use unity or even, um, unreal, I don't know, uh, whatever we think would give us the best result in the end for the game. Um, and then any platforms that are supported by those, by those engines, that would naturally mean the 3DS, um, wouldn't really be supported by that, even Unity, because Unity only supports new 3DS, and I still question how well <laughs> that's going to work. Um, so a 3DS version would be a separate effort um, 
which, um, you know, in an ideal world, I would like to see that. I would like to see a 3DS version that's done specifically for the 3DS. And then there's the console version. Um, and the console version could work on everything from, you know, including Wii U, PS4, Xbox One, potentially Vita, um, Steam, of course, um, and anything else I, I can't think of right now. I mean, even potentially mobile, I guess, you know, especially Unity. I mean, I think Unreal supports um, mobile, but I know Unity does. So there's a lot of potential, um, and we would like to have it on as many platforms as possible, because then that gives the game the biggest chance of, of actually being a success, making its money back, um, and then also allowing, you know, future support, um, whether that be in DLC, sequels, whatever, you know, stuff. Um, so uh, anyway, so that, that's my answer to that. I wouldn't want to just isolate it to be a Nintendo only thing. Uh, for me, it would be as many platforms as we could get it on um, without compromising, you know, the quality of the game. Um, but I do also, which, you know, so the 3DS version in there does make it more challenging because we would be focusing on one game for the console and really then a port, a uh, separate game for 3DS, um, which, like I say, ideally I would like to do that. I think that would be awesome. I think that'd be exciting. Um, so that's what I'd like to do. That's, that would be cool. But right now it's just pie in the sky, dream idea. Uh, we're going to need to have many more retweets <laughs> on uh, on that and, and, and lots of kind of uh, just response in some way for us to really want to take on this risk. Um, but um, yeah, a good response so far. Early days yet. Um, I think we would need to see retweets in the thousands, honestly, for us to feel um, confident in wanting to move forward with this. Um, and that seems like a tall order honestly to get thousands of retweets on that would be i think that would be difficult but that's kind of the whole point <laughs> if we achieve that boom awesome anyway so there's that so that's exciting and so i thought i'd put up the old dementian 2 poster for today because it's quite horrifying in in a in in a way that can be put on a shelf you know it's quite disturbing i, I do like that image it's kind of amazing so that's dementian 2 which we're working on which we're finishing up now so in related news, you know, uh, we're finishing up Dementium 2 now. Um, it's taking a little bit longer than we had hoped uh, for the remastered version on 3DS. Um, we're hoping to wrap it up by the end of this month, February. Um, so it would be a second quarter release. And we're going to submit that to NOA and NOE at the same time. Um, so hopefully that will come out in the second quarter of this year. For the 3DS eShop. Um, and then Dementium Remastered. Um, you know, is hopefully coming out, um, is it next week? Whenever February 11th is, is that next week? I don't know. Let me check my calendar. It's February 3rd, so I think that would be next week, wouldn't it? That makes sense. Yeah, so I think it'll be next week in Europe. How crazy is that? So that's pretty cool. All right. So there's that business. So show us your interest in that. And if you have no interest, that's fine. Um, and if you think we're silly and stupid for doing this, that's fine. Um, this is just a good social test to see if people actually give a shit about Dementium and seeing it, on Dement seeing it as a Dementium 3. Um, Kickstarter is the only way. I guess we, I should explain why Kickstarter over publishers as well. Um, we were very lucky, I think, to get a publisher for Dementium 1. You know, a survival horror game on the DS. You know, we were asking for hundreds of thousands of dollars even for that game on the DS. Um, and we were, actually, there was a, quite a few people interested at the time, which was amazing. Uh, and then we were lucky enough to do, you know, to do Dementium 2 after that. Um, but soon after that, um, and we did Moon in between the two, soon after that it became more and more difficult to kind of find people who were willing to invest in original games, you know, for a decent amount of money. Um, and nowadays, I, yeah, I, I, we just, we, there isn't a publisher out there. I mean, even, you know, even the original guys, you know, who now run Devolver Digital, uh, they're good people. I know them. They're friends of mine. You know, we still chat. Um, you know, doing a Dementium 3, you know, console is just a big financial undertaking. Um, you know, it's a big risk. So not not really any publishers want to do that these days. It's a tough thing to do. So really, it, it means either we have to somehow find the money ourselves. Um, and really, we don't have <laughs> loads of money. We don't have many money, honestly. We, <laughs> we pretty much sell a game, have enough to make another game, and we don't have really any cash. Um, so the only way is to, is, you know, is to either get it from publisher or find another way, which would be Kickstarter or some other 
crowdfunding thing. Um, I, you know, I don't want to go the investor route. I don't want to go to someone and have them invest money in the company for us to then be holden to their demands and owe them money. I don't, we haven't done that, you know, in the last nine years. We're not going to start doing that now. That's just an, uh, a risk I'm not interested in taking on for the company. It would change everything. So anyway, so this, that, that kind of puts us where we are. So cool. Well, I'm going to jump into some questions real quick and then I'm going to get back to, oh, so super challenge. Oh my gosh. Super challenge is very nearly done. Uh, all the secret characters are done. I mean, everything's done. Now I'm playing through the game. My build is somewhere else, but I'm playing through the 3DS version. Matthew's playing through the Wii U version. Um, we just, we just now really, we're just looking for bugs at this point. Um, I mean, if we see a little polish we can put here and there, which is, you know, not risky, we'll do it. Um, but it's really, that's it. So yeah, we're done. So we're just going to, we're now we're just in the final QA stage. Today's Wednesday, um, February 3rd. Um, so maybe we'll submit to Nintendo either on Friday this week, maybe Monday, depending on how it goes. Very close, very exciting. Oh my gosh. So that's cool. All right, first uh, question. Let's see. Um, Shazab uh, Hussein asks about the origin story of Renegade Kid. Um, hey, hey Shazab, how you doing? Uh, I'll do the quick version because <laughs> there's a long version to that. But really, Greg and I, we've we work, we, we worked together for years prior to starting Renegade Kid. Um, and we had talked about it for years and we just suddenly said, you know what, let's just do it. We had, we both actually worked at a good place, had good paying jobs. We were working at King's Isle at the time on uh, Wizard 101, their first game. I was the producer, he was the art director. Um, we had no good reason to, to leave that job, but we'd wanted to start our own company for so long. So we just decided to do it. Um, and we just did it. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously Dementium was our first game, which we were, we made ourselves. Uh, we, we had some freelance work that we would do during the day to make a little bit of money, to pay our own bills and to pay for actually uh, Bob. Uh, we hired Bob as a programmer who we still work with today. Um, um, and then at night we'd work on Dementium, you know, and then we worked, did that for months. Um, and then we, you know, finally found a publisher to uh, Gamecock who's now the same guys who do Devolver, uh, to publish it. There's a weird um, uh, misinformation out there that it was originally created as a survival horror game and then we turned it into our own game. That's completely wrong. It's the other way around. <laughs> we, we, we were developing our own game and we're like, oh, this is awesome. It's called The Ward. From the very beginning, that was the original name. Um, and we were trying to find publishers to give us money to publish it. And then... You know, it was challenging. We had a hard time finding a publisher. So I was like, well, we should also pitch it to Konami as a potential survival horror, uh, potential Silent Hill game for the DS. That could be cool. So that was just one angle that we also entertained to kind of get the game out there that we were working on. And, and they said no. So we just continued with the original idea. So yeah, it was never originally um, conceived as a Silent Hill game. It was originally our own game, which we then decided to pitch to them just as the off chance that they'd give us some money so we could finish it. Uh, I'm glad they didn't, honestly. I'm glad that we did it as our original game. Anyway, so that's how we started. Um, Philip Elder. Hey, Philip, how's it going? Uh, what would a demake of Dementium look like? Um, uh, probably similar to what Zero Drifter is to Moon, I guess. Something I would like to do. Something I've actually done a few mocks for, actually. Um, I would love to do that someday. I'm very interested in doing that, and I have been for a long time. So, um, yeah, I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be really fun. Uh, Jimmy Duckig. Hey, <laughs> Jimmy, how you doing? Jimmy Duckig does some really great Let's Plays of, of our games, um, so you should check him out on Twitter and on YouTube. Uh, asks, uh, does that mean there are 40 stages, 20 normal, 20 secret, and Mutant Mode Super Challenge, 5 bosses, bosses, I guess that equals 40 or 45, water sprites, and 4,000 gems? Yes, it does. There are 45 water sprites and 4,000 gems. Yeah, that is correct. Um, and 20 secret characters and 41, hang on, is it 41? And 41 music CDs you can collect to unlock music in the little jukebox room. So yeah. Um, Sean Zafar, hey Sean, how you doing? Um, 
for please for the love of god add the music from the pc demake um well like um caesar or caesar says below we don't own the rights to that um obviously we own the rights to the original music but they redid their music um for the pc version um so they own that they did that they just had the license to do that but we don't own their music they do um that rendition of it um and actually i haven't even heard it i haven't listened to it i'm not a fan of that game not that i like the people i, I definitely respect their effort and what they try to do but that's about it um so no we're not allowed to use that but um so Dimension Remastered 2, Dimension 2 Remastered, it'll, it won't it won't feature that, sorry. Um, Ripper 9 says, Kickstarter video of Colt County was literally the best Kickstarter video I've ever seen, though. Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, I don't think you have a question in there, but thank you for that comment, I appreciate that. Uh, Aaron Knight, hey Aaron, <clears throat> asked, would we consider having music with lyrics in a future game? Who in the team is the best singer? Well, Greg would probably be the best singer. I haven't heard Matthew's singing voice, to be fair. So it could be Matthew. But I've heard Greg's and I've heard my own. And Greg is better than me. He used to be in a band. Greg was in a band. Or is in a band, I guess. But they were more active back in the day. Um, well, Greg's band did do the music. Uh, we used their music uh, in ATV Wild Ride. ATV Wild Ride. Um, so we have used it. And would we consider it again? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Caesar asks another Caesar question or comment. Do I know what Patreon is? Um, I don't know much about it, but it's sort of like Kickstarter, except I don't think it expires. It's just an ongoing thing, I think. I mean, Patreon's like if you're providing a service and people then pay you like monthly to continue that service, um, which could work for game development. I don't think it works under my current situation, but it could work if it was just like me pumping out games every month or two i could see it could work you know because i think the people who are paying would expect a pretty um regular you know something for their money so i don't know if game development and it could work i think on patreon but not on our current situation i mean all i could offer is just videos which i do anyway so um and then games should take months to make if they're going to be games that you know have something you want to play for more than a few minutes so anyway Evil C Evil C forty four man, how's it going? Um, Chris um, used to is a big fan, has been a fan for a long time. Used to comment a lot back in the day. Haven't heard from him for a while. Hi George, haven't commented for a while, but thanks for the continued updates. The Drifted Moon Chronicles and Dimension Remastered were all awesome. I'd happily support Dimension Three if it went to Kickstarter. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. I hope you're doing well. He was a very big supporter at the beginning, a long time ago, and I appreciate that. It still is. Uh, and then Life and Gaming, last comment. I only own a 3DS and got Mew Muds the day it came out. Thank you. Does the loyalty discount still apply to me, or was that only for people who played the demo of Super Challenge? Also, if it does, about what would you say? Why am I reading so slowly? About what would you say then the price would be? Hope this comment isn't too late to be answered on February 3rd's Random Waffles, but I have questions. It wasn't too late, was it? Boom, here it is, here we are. We're talking about it right now, you and me. Life and Gaming, interesting name. Do I call you Mr. Gaming? Is it Life and Gaming, and is your middle name, I guess. Anyway, sorry, back to it. Um, yes, yes, no, your purchase of MUDS um, uh, absolutely goes towards uh, the loyalty discount. So basically, if you have either the original game, MUDS, on 3DS or Wii U, um, or if you have the Super Challenge demo that we released last E3 on the Wii U, if you have those, they go towards, they count, there's the same thing. Um, they don't, you can't stack them or anything. Um, I guess they cancel each, cancel each other out depending on how you want to look at it. But yes, um, if you do one of those things or any of those things, um, you'll get the loyalty discount. Um, and it is cross by. So if you, you know, get, 3ds or we you'll get the other one uh, i imagine it'll be the kind of thing where in your receipts for the purchase um it'll give you a little code for the other platform that you can use or you know, do what you want with i guess but you know you'll get both copies of the game um the final price i i think i know what it's going to be but i don't want to say it just yet i think i know what it is though and i think you'll 
I will be happy with it. Um, but I will not announce it in this moment. But soon that will be announced and I think you'll be fine with it. Um, yeah. So cool. All right, guys. Well, um, I'm going to wrap this puppy up. So Dimension 3, show your support or don't, but please do. Because we'd love, seriously, we'd love to make it. We, yeah. <laughs> we've, we've done many proposals back in the DS days all the way to now. We've done many proposals of this, of Dimension 3 to various publishers and um, yeah, whatever. We'd love to do it. We really would. We'd love to do Dimension 3. And it seems like Kickstarter really is the only way we'll ever get to do it. So um, please treat this silly uh, tweet as really the best way to communicate to us if you guys seriously would actually give us money <laughs> on Kickstarter to make it. Really, seriously. Um, don't let this opportunity pass by as like, eh, whatever, they'll do it anyway. We won't. <laughs> this is really the only way we could do it. Um, we, we just couldn't afford it on our own. And we'll just have to continue doing, and we will continue doing, our own smaller games like we are doing. Because that's really awesome and fun as well. Um, but the only way we could do Dimensium 3 is through Kickstarter. It's through crowdfunding. Would it be Kickstarter or Indiegogo or whatever? I mean, that's beside the point, really. But a, a crowdfunding thing. I mean, probably Kickstarter because it's solid, it's dependable, it's trustworthy as far as a platform. Um so um not that the other ones aren't i just don't know much about them um you know and, and yeah we want to do a you know a great epic dimension three to kind of complete that trilogy and if that obviously does well we can move on to bigger and better things in the dimension universe um so yeah definitely treat it as serious because it is um so if you want to see it let your voice be heard through that click um yeah cool well thanks guys uh, you have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. I hope you're doing well. And uh, yay, we nearly finished with the super, super Challenge. Oh my gosh, so exciting. Good stuff. I think you guys are going to like it a lot. So, all right. Thanks, guys. You take care, and I'll see you soon. All right, bye.